to the Taylor Walker Fit Kitchen. Today I'm going to make for you my scrumptious peanut butter energy bites. The key to eating healthy is having things that are pre-made, quick and easy, and full of whole food. These are great to substitute for an easy on-the-go breakfast. You can take them to work if you're bringing your kids to school. And they're great also for an afternoon pick-me-up when you're waiting to have lunch or dinner, something in, in your in-between meals of your three big meals of the day. They're super easy to make. A lot of this stuff you already have in your pantry. And the best part is you can tailor it to whatever, <laughs> tailor it, to whatever your taste buds want and need. So easy, we're gonna start out with Quick oats, they're super easy. These are no bake, so you wanna have a quick oat or a one minute oat, not something that you need to boil. So you're just gonna throw that right in there. We're gonna do all of our dry ingredients first. Next up, it's one of my favorites. This is organic ground flaxseed. It's great, it's chock full of omega-3s, and we have to eat omega-3s. They're not, you know, made in our bodies. So this is a great way to get them into our bodies. It aids in your digestion. Once you hit 25, ladies, believe me, I know, your digestion starts to slow down. So this is a great way to get things going. And flax also helps aid against Fight. It fights cancer, breast cancer in women, and prostate cancer in men. So just chuck that in there. You'll never even know it's there. It's pretty much tasteless. From here, I love raisins. I'm going to do coconut raisins and peanut butter. So I have a heaping one quarter of a cup of California raisins. You can use dried cranberries, dried prunes if you like prunes. Uh, next up, we have two thirds a cup of coconut. If you like coconut flavor, you can even toast these off in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes until they're golden brown. They're nice, they're flaky. It's just shaved coconut. There's no preservatives in it, it's all natural. But just make sure you read your labels because just because something says that it's natural on the bag doesn't mean that it actually is. Look for added sulfites, added preservatives, things like that. So you really know that what you're getting and putting into your bodies is all natural. Next up, we have another superfood and something that's kind of trendy right now. It's the chia seed. This is great for really helping your body fight hunger. You can use it for weight loss. There's omega-3s, omega-6s. Um, it's non-GMO and it's also gluten-free. It's just a great additive to anything like yogurt. You could throw a tablespoon in water and it actually turns into a gel, which is a little weird. Um, it's pretty flavorless, so I like to throw it in things like this where it's, you're just gonna get that nutrition in your body, but you're not really gonna kind of choke it down, if you know what I mean. So we just have a nice, even tablespoon of chia seeds. And they're little teeny tiny seeds. So again, you're, they're like a sesame seed. You're not really gonna know you're, they're in there, but you're gonna enjoy it. Next up, I just have some vanilla extract. Um, you can use even a vanilla bean. We're gonna use a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And we'll chuck that in there. Now for the rest of our wet ingredients. My favorite is peanut butter. I'm gonna talk about this peanut butter though. I know it's Smuckers, and really Smuckers is synonymous with their jams, their jellies that are high in corn seed, high fructose corn syrup, and all this sugar. But the biggest thing, like I said, I'm not this fitness guru, I'm not a nutritionist, but I do research and I read labels. And for this label, the ingredients is organic roasted peanuts. That's it, organic roasted peanuts. I don't really care about the fat content because I'm not using a ton for every bite. It's just gonna be a little bit of peanut butter. It's high in protein. There's not a lot of, um, there's no trans fat and there's not a lot of saturated fat. There's only two grams of saturated fat. So even though a label can be deceiving, like all natural or smuckers for what it's synonymous with, just do me a favor and read those nutrition labels. Okay, I have mine sitting out for a little while because you do have to refrigerate it, but it doesn't have all those preservatives like your jits and all that kind of peanut butter. It gets super oily and starts to separate. So you do keep it refrigerated, but for these, it needs to be room temperature. So you can really form all the bites and you get that in there. You can also use PB2. It's something you can find at Whole Foods or at Fresh Market, and it's almost like a peanut butter powder that you can mix back in. It takes all the oil out of the peanut butter, but you still get that flavor. 
which is awesome. You can throw some chocolate protein powder in here, pistachios, anything you want. And last but not least is our pure honeybee honey. I like getting honeybee honey because it's not um, boiled down. It comes straight from the beehive and into maybe this container, maybe a bigger container. I don't know. But for bee pollen, it's really good for our stomachs. It kind of takes a lot of the bloat out and it's delicious. It's a natural sugar. Um, and I like to use honey. Sometimes I'll use a little agave, natural maple syrup, and organic coconut sugar is also another great flavorful sugar. So we throw that all in there, this beautiful color. I love honey and peanut butter. I think it's a great, great combination. And it also kind of reminds me of being a kid and eating Honey Nut Cheerios and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Kind of a grown up kid now, but it's still something, a flavor combination that I love. From here, you just mix all this beautiful goodness together. So now that we have this all stirred up and the peanut butter and the coconut and everything is in there, we're going to go ahead and make our bites. And what you want to do is you want to have them about one inch in diameter. And you just roll them like you would a cookie or something like that. And you want to really press them together. Sometimes it helps if you moisten your, moisten your hands a little bit. Just run them under lukewarm tap water. It'll just help you form these little bites of deliciousness a little bit easier. So they're about that big. And the great part about these is they're packed with protein and whole foods that are you. So these yield about less than 200 calories for two of them. So if you have two of these, I can guarantee you those couple of hours that you need to get you through the day where you don't want to eat another big meal, have a couple of these. Your energy will increase, your hunger will decrease, and these are delicious. My husband has tried them, and he's from Ohio, and likes everything with cheese and gravy on it, and he even liked them. So I'm sure your kids will love them, and your husbands will like them, your brothers, sisters, mothers. Just give them a try. So now, after we have most of these bites completed, this batch will yield about 16 to 20 bites. Um, from here, we just want to throw them in the refrigerator for at least a half hour so that everything kind of congeals together and they don't fall apart the second that you Put them in your mouth. I'm going to finish making these and we'll see you in a half hour. I almost couldn't wait the full 30 minutes to eat these. So now my energy bites are ready to go. They're ready to go with me to work. They're ready to go with me to yoga. I can't wait. Sometimes I have to stop myself from eating this whole bowl. Mm. They're so great. I love peanut butter. You can taste the coconut. But like I said, make these your own. Have fun with it. Be creative. If it doesn't work the first time, try something new the second time. Thanks for watching Taylor Walker Fit. Email me with any questions you have about health, nutrition, and healthy cooking at taylorwalkerfit at gmail.com. Follow me on Pinterest at Taylor Walker Fit and of course on Instagram at Taylor Walker Fit. Thanks for watching. Oh,